Victoria and Craig and we've been traveling full time in an RV for over two years. This summer, after trading in our old falling apart fifth wheel for a brand new one, we boondocked our way around Colorado, finding plenty of adventures along the way. Oh my gosh. If we didn't up our side steps, I'm gonna be mad. Now we're driving through an entire river. I'm going to have a heart attack here. Oh gosh. And a few misfortunes. It wouldn't come on. Now we can't move any of our jacks or anything. <laughs> Pulling over for a second because my brakes are smoking. We messed up. We hit a tree. But now we're on our way back to the East Coast and we're taking a shortcut through Canada. But first, we have to make it through the border. Now I'm second guessing everything. That's probably not hard. great. I'm a little nervous now. They're coming for us. I see them. They're getting ready. Look. What you got on you? so that we can take you along for a true Canadian RV life experience. Who? Loonies and Toonies. That cannot be that <laughs> Poutine. Poutine. So we've never been to Canada before, except for the one time in Washington when we hiked to the border and we might have taken a few steps past this side just to say we stepped foot in Canada. But tomorrow, we are going to Canada for real. So I've been doing a lot of research to try to figure out what we can and can't take across the border into Canada. And if you scan this code right here or click the link in the description below, I'll just email you the full checklist so that you don't have to take any notes. But we are gonna go through them real quick, just the highlights so that you can be prepared to cross the border into Canada with your RV too, including something that we didn't have. <laughs> We almost forgot about, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Okay, first up, the most obvious identification. So you and anyone crossing the border, including minors, are gonna need proper identification. So like a passport or passport cards and the driver does need their driver's license, obviously. For your pets, you're gonna wanna make sure you have their updated shot records, especially the rabies vaccine. Luckily, we had these all prepared for when we went into Mexico earlier this year. We threw away a lot of fresh vegetables and meats before going into Mexico, and I didn't want to do that if we didn't have to going into Canada. So I looked into it and found out that you can bring fresh fruits and vegetables as long as you declare them, but there are some funny rules about certain things like eggs. They must be in the carton and say product of USA. Same with meats, which I'm gonna have to throw away these eggs because I don't have the original carton, but luckily our meats and things are properly packaged. Potatoes are another weird specific one that have to be in their original packaging and say product of the USA and US number one potatoes on the package, whatever that means. And there are some limits with the amounts of like vegetables and different things you can bring, but it's like a lot. So if you're just bringing normal amounts of food, you should be fine. For your vehicles, you're gonna want copies of your insurance and registration. We almost forgot that we didn't have the registration to the RV. And so today we had to go and get a copy printed. We don't have the physical copy with us because it got mailed to Craig's parents' house, but we have it now. And I'm sure they won't ask now that we have it. But if we didn't, then they would have asked. But some big no-nos that they are almost sure to ask about, firearms and explosives. There are very strict rules regarding firearms and explosives and bringing them into Canada and it requires special permits and forms and everything like that. So be aware, also cannabis is just not allowed to cross the border into Canada. Honestly, I feel pretty good about the border crossing after all my research. We're gonna be crossing at the Blue Water Bridge from Michigan over into Canada, but stay tuned because we're gonna be finding out tomorrow if everything goes according to plan and if everything I found out was actually correct. And let me know in the comments if you find tips like these about traveling different places in your RV helpful. So today's the day we're going into Canada. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't have any idea. I've done zero research. Hopefully Victoria remembers everything she's read because I did not contribute to this. Well, well, well. <laughs> Thanks for giving me some credit there, babe. Hey. Um, I am super excited though. And I'm also excited because we're going to be going to... <clears throat> Wait, I did do some. Oh, what did you do? Oh, what'd you find out? So like, like... Excited to know When you're it. talking to people <clears throat> oh, and no. you want to communicate well, you just got to put A on the end. So you got any milk, A? I get us through Canada. Anyway.
guys, I've got us booked at a Canadian campground inside a conservation area, which I feel like is like a state park. And I'm very excited to see how like Canada's campgrounds are compared to the US's campgrounds. So we gotta get packed up here. I don't know how busy this border crossing is about to be. It's a Saturday. I don't know. Anyways, let's get packed up. What you doing, her? Oh, just spraying some WD-40 on stuff. It. A few more tips for you before you cross the border. You're going to want to make sure you download offline Google Maps. Our AT&T phones are supposed to work in Canada as well as Mexico, but you never know. So it's better just have offline Google Maps downloaded. And you want to know where you're going because they probably will ask, where are we going? Canada. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't know and then you this. sound suspicious. <laughs> so we're going to Alora Gorge Conservation Area. Alora Gorge. Yes. Alora? Alora, I think that's how you pronounce it. Alora Gorge Conservation Area. Then off to Niagara Falls the following week and then back into New York. We plan on being in Canada about two weeks. Can no, you remember that? Almost doesn't even seem worth it. It's just a little shortcut. Just a little shortcut through a whole other country. Shortcut. Shortcut through Canada. It's a long shortcut. <laughs> it's a two week shortcut. <laughs> Pop quiz, where are we going in Canada? Alora Gorge Conservation. And then where are you going? How long are you gonna be there? Two weeks. And then where are you going? Home. <laughs> Failed. You do not get to cross the border, sir. Well, that's okay. I don't really hurt my feelings. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. We're just a few miles from the bridge. Are you nervous? Nah. I'm only most nervous about like the lane situation. It's always tough to like Wait, figure out. Wait, what's wrong with the bridge? That's where we cross the border. You cross oh. the bridge over and then the border and you gotta figure out what lane to be in, which you're supposed to be in the cars and RVs lane, not the truck lane. And sometimes it's just a lot to take in all at once at these borders. Ah, uh, I'll just go slow. Go slow. Tip of the day. Hey. Please don't, please don't do that at the border. <laughs> what are you talking about? They won't understand. There, Craig's gonna get us detained. Okay, here we are. We're about to turn to get on the bridge to Canada. Oh, there's the sign. Turn right. Do I turn the here? Bridge to Canada, yes. Oh man. Here we go. It's exciting. Pay tolls ahead. Oh no. <laughs> All we got is US dollars. Yeah, I wanted to get some loonies and toonies. Who? Loonies and toonies. Is that what it's really called? That's what their little coins are called, yeah. That cannot be real money. It is. They're like the dollars. Loonies and toonies. I, mean, they I used have to Canadian. watch that when I was a kid. They have Canadian dollars too, but they have loonies and toonies, which are like the dollar, the smaller coins. Anyways, I wanted to get some before we went, but we didn't, so I think we'll just have to. This seems so short. It's 14.4. 14 14.4, 14 I know it's tall enough, but I, don't like it. I did not like that either. Uh, oh, okay. Oh Already. My. Already. So what like? One of the ones that's open. <laughs> well, oh, I'll just follow that RV. Perfect. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Cars. Oh yeah. They said cars. And I think I saw some either trailers and RVs or something like that. Cars and trucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They didn't want me over. RFID tag. What does it say? Mm -hmm. There's a sign says RFID tag and credit slash debit only. Oh, well, good, we have a credit card. Oh, nice. I don't think, I, th I think this is just the toll for the bridge. This isn't actually the border crossing, by the way. Oh, that's pretty lame. Yeah. Who gets the money? I guess this side must get go to the US. I wonder if you have to you gotta pay a toll on both sides, or maybe this side is Canadian, Canada's side, and the other side is So you gotta pay side. it twice? <laughs> no, I'm saying, I mean, depending on which way you're going, you know? I don't know. We're up next. Here we go, here we go. Just to pay a toll. Just really. to pay a toll. <laughs> I said we've never done that before. I was thinking it wasn't so busy to be a border crossing. No, this is just the toll part for the bridge. Be good, Maverick, no barking. Hello, hey. Hello. Thank you. There you go. Have Thank you. Thank you, you too. How much was it? Nine dollars to get across the bridge. 
All right, we're coming. I think this is like basically the middle of the bridge, so we're crossing the Canadian border right now. Wait, what lane? Uh, the cars one. Are we sure? I'm pretty sure, according to the internet, they say use the cars, not the trucks lane. Why well, ain't nobody else even going around me, though, is the question. Like, am I? Do you see any cars that aren't trucks? I don't. They are. I can't. I don't know. All the cars are over there. I don't, I don't know. Trucks use right lane. Everything I read said to use the cars, not the trucks lane. Except for they're still in the truck. They're still in the truck lane. Well, we're going to go car lane, I guess. I mean, it is a picture of an 18-wheeler. Yeah. This is the part that's always a little confusing because we are about the size of an 18-wheeler. So do we count as an 18-wheeler? Is it about size or is it about regulations? (laughs) Yeah. Because, like, regulations, okay, we're a car. But size-wise, we're a truck. And and it never really specifies anywhere. (sighs) There's a sign that clearly says no cars in that. Yeah, so... But then you got this guy, and now I'm second guessing everything. I don't know what they'll have to stop that traffic. I guess. I guess and let us, and let us over. In. I mean, we're not gonna. If anything's too short or small, we're just not gonna go, and they're just gonna have to let us move over. Well, we ain't passing another RV except for that one. And they probably work just as confused as us if it's their first I'm, time. I'm pretty confused right now. Okay, let's see here. Buses, auto bus. We've got a few lanes open. We don't want to go to the Nexus lane. I know we're not Nexus. I'll just stay in this one, but... Okay. I think this should be fine. It's just, it's pretty uh, skinny looking. There's a little, these lanes are a little skinny. They look tall. Well, they don't look much Oh, see, that's that. like, see, that's for trucks. See, that's like... Yeah, I think that's like for commercial inspections. See, this is like where the trucks are going over there to like a commercial inspection <clears throat> area. Nobody's staring and waving at us, so. Yeah. What is Nexus? That's for like people Speed who, pass. yeah, like a fast pass kind of. For the road. <laughs> they're coming for, us, coming for us. I see them. They're getting ready. Look, uh, we'll zoom in. This isn't going to be good quality, but all these people just walked out of that building, and I feel like they're coming just to inspect us. They saw us. No, because they wouldn't inspect us right here anyways. No, probably not. <laughs> They'd be holding up the whole lane for so long. <laughs> they're going to be like, excuse me, come this way. <laughs> They're still coming towards us. Maybe we are in the wrong lane. <laughs> Look at them. I feel like they're coming for us. I don't know why I'm so nervous. We're not doing anything wrong. I hope I can fit. Yeah, it's a little skinny. A little skinny. Hey, Hello. how are you? Plate number. Plate, you know the plate number? Of the truck or the RV? Truck or RV? Truck. truck uh, yes. Z88. 6SW. Z88. Uh, 6SW. 6SW. You need the whole whole address or just. We're going to Alora Gorge Conservation for a week and then Niagara for oh, the week after that and then into New York. What do you have for guns with you? For what? Guns, nothing. I have some guns. Oh, nothing. We don't have any guns. You don't carry? Um, not, well, they're all in Florida. No, nah, we just came from Mexico, so everything's in storage. Thank, Thank you. you. Why are you being so serious? <laughs> Holy smokes. I told you that they really expect, uh, I mean, well, first of all, we are from Florida, and I, they're, they are very serious about the guns question. Yeah, but like, <laughs> he's still a person. <laughs> you ain't gotta be weird. Okay. <laughs> like I know his face was tired from holding it like know, that for I, so long. I don't think he, I don't think I got him on camera or anything, but he was kind of like this the whole time. Got any guns? Yeah, just relax, guys. It's okay. We don't have any guns with us. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Like if I, when I was a correctional officer, doing my twelve-hour shifts, I couldn't imagine me going in. What you got on you? My face is getting tired of making that face already. <laughs> okay. Anyways, pretty smooth. They didn't ask us if we had anything to declare, so we didn't even have to talk about our plans. No, he asked animals, about guns. But he did ask about guns. But and it was weird too. It was like, you don't, he was like, you don't carry? Yeah. I don't, I don't 
don't feel like I should now. I don't know. I think we're supposed to be going that way. I'm about to get over. Okay. That was weird. Weird guy. The other thing to know is that as soon as you cross into Canada, the speed limits are off, obviously in kilometers. So make sure your truck either like has a setting for that or whatever so that you can see what the kilometers per hour are. Now we're at maximum 100 kilometers per hour. It sounds like so much, but that's only like what, like 60, 60, 60 I believe you. miles per hour. Uh, the Porter Crossing went pretty smoothly. The guy was very serious and wanted to make sure that we didn't have any guns. Of course, that's, that's really understandable. All yeah, yeah, like it's really... It yeah, it's like it's been their big thing, and that's what everybody we saw online. They said like that was the big thing they asked about. They didn't ask about anything else. They didn't have to inspect the RV. Craig remembered where we were going. That's right. <laughs> and yeah, I've overall pretty I've never found a quiz. Ashback. Pop quiz. Where are we going in Canada? Home. Failed. You do not get to cross the border, sir. End of flashback. The roads past the border are in great condition, still nice and spacious. It looks, yeah. it looks just like the U.S. So. Can't even tell anything different other yeah. than now I know nobody can shoot me. Being as close to Detroit as we were, that was a oh concern. Oh my gosh, you're not going to put that. <laughs> So, so far everything looks the exact same as the U.S. side of this part of the world, I guess. I don't know. When you cross a border, you just expect some kind of glamorous change. And there was none. It feels like I am in some farmland in the U.S. After we get set up at our campground, I do think this evening we're gonna go into Kitchener, which is, I think, a big-ish city nearby. So I think we're gonna take you guys along for that too. So you'll get to, from the farmlands of Canada to the cities. I, I'm probably not a big city. If you're from Canada, let me know. Kitchener, like, how big is it relative to other big cities in Canada? We've gotten to the busiest area that we've been in, which is where our exit was. And of course, the one exit that we were supposed to get off on is under construction and you just can't get off on it. <laughs> Luckily, the Garmin redirected us to another place, but I swear that happens to us like every time. It's like our one that we're no we know is gonna be RV safe and then it's like closed. Well. <laughs> Apparently, the little like uh, service centers are called on routes here. We didn't know what it was. We were pretty sure it would be a service center, and luckily it was. Because yeah. Craig really, really has to pee. I gotta pee pee. <laughs> Another thing we did was look up how tall our RV was in meters so that we could be prepared, which is between like 4.1 and 4.2 meters, but it was completely useless information because zero bridges, zero low hanging lights, zero anything <laughs> has, has listed the heights of what they are. Like they'll have signs that say danger, low wires or danger, low lights and no height sign. There'll be bridges that have clearly been hit multiple times and still won't even tell you the height of the bridge. So if you come to Canada, you just gotta go. And then if you hit, then figure it out, you know? I don't know if that's the best advice, but sure. we've been using the semi trucks on the road as a guide. If yeah. they can make it under then, I think we can too. Although we did just turn off into a little town area now and there was this low hanging light and we didn't even see it at first, but we naturally got over because we we're turning left next. And we see this sign that's like danger, overhead light. And I, I don't know, I, I tried to look, it would have been close. It would have been close. So be aware. <laughs> All right, we're finally here. Gonna see what this campground is like. I don't know what to expect exactly. There weren't many pictures. So, so far it was an easy back end. The spaces are very uh, wide. Like we got a whole green area on the other side of our RV, so it's nice. But yeah, it's been good. Looking forward to checking the place out. This is a, a gorge, so I think there's supposed to be some good hiking, some cool river gorge stuff going on. Should be fun.
All right, we're unhooked, set up, level, all the things, full hookups here at the park. And now, Maverick, you ready to go? We're gonna take the dogs on a walk. So this Allura Gorge conservation area is huge, really. There's so many campsites. There are no hookups, partial hookups, full hookups. We're in the area with full hookups that's more well suited to big rigs. It was 64 Canadian dollars a night, which is only about 47, 48 US dollars for full hookups, which is not bad. These sites look pretty nice. They're spacious. There's all the you know facilities like dumpsters and everything like that that you would need. And the reason why this area is special is because the Grand River runs through here and it made this huge gorge with these 22 meter high cliffs which is like I think like 70 something feet high you can actually tube down the river you have to rent like helmets and have all the gear like water shoes and stuff like that but you can go tubing down the river and then there's these nice hiking trails along the edges of the gorge which have just beautiful views and it's a really nice area but now we are going into town to get poutine because we're in Canada. So of course we're going to go eat some poutine. Are you excited for this poutine? Yeah. Oh, I don't like that name. Poutine. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'm ready to eat some poutine. So I feel like I ain't even allowed to say that. It's a kid-friendly channel. It's french fries and gravy and cheese. I know what it is, but it's, it feels dirty. That's a lot. So we just got done eating some poutine. Poutine. It was good. <laughs> it was good. I don't know why I pictured it with white gravy. I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. Gravy. I don't know. I didn't even know what came in po poutine, but. I don't think that's how the Canadians say it. Sorry to all of our Canadian she's right. viewers. It's poutine, eh? I knew you. I know that's where you was going with it. It was good. <laughs> It was good. The pizza, not so much, but the poutine was good, and uh, yeah. That pretty much wraps up our first day in Canada. We're really excited for some of our adventures we have coming up. Be sure and hit that subscribe button because we have another campground that we're going to next week so that we can hit up Niagara Falls, and we're doing it from the Canadian size because it's supposed to be better anyways, and then crossing over to New York. We've got a lot coming up. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next week.